Hey, everybody. Is there anybody there? Hello, I see somebody's there. Tell me who you are. Let's see. Make sure you set your chat to um, live chat. Hey, Lori, how are you? I'm at the library. <laughs> Paul, hey, Paul, how are you doing? I'm at the library uploading and I thought I'd just come in and give a quick check in. Um, I'm doing good, you guys. You can see my little scar over here but I'm doing good I'm feeling better and I'm starting to play and starting to make some lessons and stuff so um, I've got a couple of videos that I'm uploading right now that are um, gonna be coming out and one is for the site members that's gonna be on how to use strum machine it is 425 or um, 14, why can't I remember that? 1425 um, here, Paul. So it's good to see you too, except I can't see you, but it's good to talk to you. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm uploading a video right now on Strum Machine and how to use it for my uh, members at the website. And it's like a 30 minute long video where I take you through all of it okay um so for anybody who's interested in that that's gonna be i'll put that on the site this evening or later after i get off the off of here and funny thing is john is here uh at the library too he's got a business meeting here so i was like i'm going i've got to upload um but i've got to hold the i kind of have to hold the ipad up here so i'm sorry if it's shaky but um, I've also got uh, videos that are going to be coming out here on YouTube that are um, kind of a tips and helps kind of thing. And I have new lesson videos. So I've already done a, ban a claw hammer banjo lesson and um, all that stuff. Lori, I am doing pretty daggum good. I don't know why it's only showing me your message for just a second, but... Um, Rick, hey Rick, I'm doing pretty good, Lori. I'm, I'm off of all medication except at night now. Um, the doc wants me to take a pill that helps to stimulate my nerves and stuff. So I'm doing that at night only, but other than that, I'm not taking anything. I'm trying not to. Um, today's my first day actually, where the only thing I've taken is ibuprofen uh, for the pain and stuff. But, uh, yeah. And Paul, the tips and tricks, there's going to be, uh, I've got like three coming out that are going to be, um, like mis five biggest mis mistakes that people make when they try to learn a song, stuff like that. Um, how to survive a jam session and tips to get you started and things like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say, Hey, I'll show you around this little room here. This is in my local library. And they call this a hospitality room. So you're allowed to come in here and um, you can talk. And you can, you know, this is for people who want to have a coffee or something like that. And they come in here and want to like make a, a long distance um, FaceTime or something like that. And don't have good internet at home. So that's really cool. Um, so I thought I'd just jump on here. But the background... I don't know, the background's kind of boring looking. But how are y'all doing? Type me out something. I hope you're um, 
you know, doing something, playing an instrument, right? What songs are you guys working on? Anything? I know Lori is working on, well, she finished her hymn for the challenge. So I don't know what she's working on now, but Rick and Paul, what are you working on? Anything? I'm going to have to put this down. Paul, oh no. Oh my goodness, I had no idea. I'm so sorry, Paul. It's I'm good to good to know you're uh, okay and out of the hospital. Lord have mercy. I'll be praying for you, Paul. Wow. I hope you don't have any damage. I've got a good friend, Sean, who is still recovering from his stroke he had last year. Um Rick, Hogan's Heroes, March. That's cool. Are you doing that on banjo or what, Rick? And I saw Lori was doing... Good. Good, Paul. Saw Lori was doing Wildwood Flower, too. One of my favorites. Yes, Paul. Get that banjo going. That'll help with, with, your, uh, with your therapy and everything, too, I'm sure. Doing that on Claw Hammer. That's awesome, Rick. Right now, um, after we leave here, we're actually going to meet Gerald to practice tonight for our church songs on Sunday. I'm not really sure what we're going to do yet, but we've been looking at a few new songs. And our songbook now that we regularly work through um, for playing on Sundays has over 60 songs in it. So that's pretty cool. Yep. Yay, Gerald is right. Super fun. And you know, Paul, they did tell me, um, I know they told this to Sean too, that, uh, that banjo will help with your therapy. And I have that nerve damage in my right hand. And, um, they said, yep, get right back into it. Get right back into whatever you can do and, um, do a little more and more each day to work up. So, yeah. Um. Let's see, I'm going, hey, this is this is interesting. Some of you might find this interesting. Tomorrow, we're going um, over to Cleveland, Tennessee. And Lori, you're going to be upset. We're meeting up with Jason. <laughs> um, a buddy of ours, Jason and his son, they shoot the cowboy shooting. It will, Paul. It really will. They do the cowboy shooting tournaments and... Um, he, they live in like in Middle Tennessee, and we're gonna uh, meet him over in Cleveland, watch him shoot a little bit, which is always fun. And then we're gonna go and I think grab something to eat, and then we're gonna be jamming. So that'll be my first um, jam outside of church in a while. We'll see what I'll be able to do. Um, I'm gonna take dulcimer. <laughs> I will, Lori. I'm a, I knew you wouldn't be upset, but maybe jealous. Uh, I'm going to take dulcimer. I'm not going to take banjo tomorrow because he's bringing two banjos. So I'll be able to play. He's got a Ricard little wonder, I want to say, that's cherry that he's going to let me play a little bit. And I'm going to take my mandolin um, because he wants to look at it. But anyway, I thought I'd pop on here for a minute and say hello. Um I wish I could get this to show more of, like, the comments, they come up on my um, page and then they go away. Is it very different jamming in the church or somewhere else? Well, really, no. I mean, anytime I jam with anybody where a lot of the songs we're playing are, are good old gospel tunes, but, um, yeah, it well, it is, because... With me, John, and Gerald, we've got it down to a, I mean, we've got it honed down to where we, we know exactly what we're doing uh, pretty much, and we'll just talk through a song for a second, and me and Gerald will be like, are you going to kick it off or bye? We decide who's going to kick it off, and if I'm kicking it off, that means he takes the first break, and I take the second break, and vice versa. So we know exactly what we're doing at this point. So when we go to jam with anybody else, you know, 
you don't really do that. You just sort of say, "I'm gonna, we're going to play this song a little bit and you play and somebody might take a break and then, you know, it's a little more informal and not really as set up, I guess you'd say. Um, maybe. I wish I knew how to run this stuff better. My messages pop up here on the screen for me, then they just go away. <laughs> You're right, Paul, I am. I'm very lucky that John plays too. And there was quite a long time where he didn't. And um, I was really sad during that time. And it was hard to, I don't know, you know, when your spouse plays something too, you just really mesh a lot easier than when you're playing with other people because you've known each other for so long and you, I don't know, you just mesh. It's better, it's so much better. And then I'm lucky too that John can sing so good. That way I don't have to do all those lead singing and I don't really, I just wanna play. So I wanted like backup sing and then, you know, hit those breaks and stuff, but yeah. London, hey Alan. You're a long way away too. Paul's over in Spain. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing a lot better. And I'm getting back at it. Sitting here at the library uploading videos. Just thought I'd pop on for a minute. Oh, and that brings me to another thing. Now, uh, since December, we have had our local internet company. Um, we've had them working. They... <laughs> Lori... They have been working since December on our little neighborhood road with the internet lines. And John went out and talked to them. He's talked to them several times. But he went out and talked to them, and they said, yes, we're bringing fiber internet, and it's going to be soon. Well, that was in December. Well, you know, I thought soon was going to be actually soon. And here we go. We're almost in April, and we still don't have it. But they keep saying soon, soon, like we're almost done and then you'll be able to get it so whenever there soon is we will have fast internet and sun let me tell you there will be live streams so um i will be doing a lot of those but alan what's your weather like where you're at and paul what's your weather like today it's about 68 degrees it was a little cool this morning but North Georgia, it's about 68 degrees and breezy and nice. Hey, Jason. Uh, but Alan and Paul, tell me what it's like where you're at. And Lori. Hey, Switzerland. Hey. I don't know how to say I think it's Severin, I want to say. Um, but hey, I'm glad to hear from you. I, I see a lot of your comments, so I, it's really cool that I caught you. Rick's up about 8,000 feet. Wow, nice. Maybe Jason can help me. I don't know. My comments keep disappearing. I have the entire screen, and the comment will pop up at the side, and then it just goes away. And I can't figure out how to keep it up there so I can see what y'all are saying for longer than about five seconds. Six inches of snow tomorrow, Lori. Oh, I'm sorry. Alan, nighttime now, but we had the most amazing rainbow this afternoon. Sun and showers. Rainbows are amazing. I love them. Paul, 22 degrees. Woo. Oh, 22 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm sorry. I'm an American. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yep, Jason can't help. I'm sorry. I wish I, I, wish I could figure that out, though. But... Keep commenting. I love hearing it. I already talked about you, Jason, and told everybody I was going to see you tomorrow. <laughs> John's over here with uh, meeting with meeting with the mob uh, for a book cover. I'm in the library. They have a little room that's called the hospitality room. And here, I'll show it to you, too. It's just a little room that's off the side where you can have coffee. Oh, Paul, 71 degrees. That's nice. Where you can have coffee and you can, like, make a call or something. They've had it closed forever for all this time. Is why I couldn't come in here. 
And then other times when they, whenever they would have it open, somebody would be in here. So I wouldn't want to disturb them. But I, I, uh, John had a meeting today. So, um, I was like, I'm going to pop in here and just jump online, say, Hey, but, um, uh, anyway, if, if you got any more questions, shoot them out. Other than that, I'll probably let you go here in a minute. It's 40. That's kind of warm for you right now, isn't it, Lori? <laughs> Lori is up in the very north part of Michigan, so whoa, it's cold up there a lot. But Spain is nice today, or tonight, according to Paul, which is very awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm playing. I'm so happy to be playing again, you guys. You can't, you just can't even know how much it it brings you down you know I know Paul can relate but uh it just brings you down mentally if you can't if you go from playing you know I'm playing two hours a day you guys usually at least and going from that to nothing just heartbreaking and then uh not being able to play in church you know that's hard too I don't like that but this last Sunday, I played in church again, and those uh, I got those videos that'll be coming out. Alan, daylight savings kicks in this weekend in England, so it'll feel like spring. Nice. Um, yeah, daylight savings. We just had that here, so it doesn't get dark until very late. Yep. Um, but you know, going from not playing, oh, it's terrible. Yeah, 110 in August. Yeah, that's a little hot, Paul. But what's your humidity like? You know, I've been in California before where it could be 100 degrees. Now, this is a long time ago. We'll just say that. Many years ago when I was in the military. But it could be 100 degrees and felt great. It didn't feel hot because it wasn't humid. Um, now, here in the south, you know, all this humidity... It'll get 95 in summer and you feel like you're just dying because it's so humid and you're breathing water. Dry as bone, okay. So that's not quite as hot feeling to me when it's when it's uh less humid anyway. Hope when you go to lunch they have coleslaw for y'all. <laughs> I think they probably will. Uh it depends on where we go, but, whoops, sorry about that. Depends on where we go, but, anyway, I don't know what else to tell you. Um, if you have, I'm pro, I, okay, first of all, let me say this. I haven't played the banjo in many months. Most of y'all don't know that. Milk skin. <laughs> well, I can relate to that just a little bit because my daughter's pretty milk skinned too. Um, and she's got a little bit of Irish blood in her. <laughs> but I haven't played the banjo in a very long time. And most of y'all don't know that except for my really close friends. Um, but I couldn't play the banjo um, because of my neck and what it was doing to my hand and uh, wrist and everything with the nerves um and i could only play dulcimer i was able to play dulcimer because i didn't have to move my wrist in the same manner as much so it still hurt but it didn't hurt as much so i haven't played claw hammer or or um two finger banjo since about last summer other than forcing it um which i did a few times but I haven't done much of that at all. And now I'm starting to get back to it. And, you know, I love it. Um, of course. Banjo, you know. Uh, so I really upped my dulcimer game during that time. But I do love the dulcimer, Paul. Now, I did fall in love with the dulcimer many years ago. But it fell off, you know. And I, I actually sold it and everything. and But came back to it and... Yes, I do have a deep, deep love for the dulcimer. But banjo is always a love as well, you know. Um, and the dulcimer is, 
what's getting me these gigs right now. So you can bet I'm playing a lot of dulcimer because I have to. Um, but at Kentucky Music Week this summer, um, even though it's a dulcimer event, they also teach other instruments. And I will be teaching claw hammer there a lot. I only have one uh, dulcimer class and, and I have um, three banjo classes. So they really like that I play banjo too. So I can teach that and that's gonna be awesome. If you know any of if anybody's anywhere near Kentucky in June and can sign up for it, um, my classes are filling up. I've been told, so that's really cool. I can't wait to do that. But anyway, uh, if you have any other questions, and otherwise, I'm gonna sign off for here in just a moment because um, I've been on here for 20 minutes. Time flies, and I still have this ugly background. I need to bring like a, if I'm going to do this again, I need to bring something in here. <laughs> I'm sure anybody that comes on here is going to be like, where are you? Oh, and look at there. What do you know? Look at there. Somebody's always watching you, aren't they? Everywhere you go here, for sure. Somebody's always watching. And I understand why, but. I know. I already talked about the internet, Jason. They're out there. They were out there today working down the road from us. Um, thank you, Paul. I am too. But that internet, man, it can't come fast enough for me. So when it does, we'll have lots more live streams. And I will do them at different times. I'll have to figure out good times for everybody. I'm going to have to have some like in the afternoons like this where I can get all the awesome Europeans on. Like Paul and Alan and Severin, I hope I said that right. Um, and then some at night for more of the American crew. Hey. Hey, just want to let another plug drop for 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. You're awesome. Welcome. You're welcome. Thanks. Closing in 15 minutes. Didn't know that. Porch time, yeah. Well, John's meeting's going to get cut short. I I should pay attention to when the library is open. But um, anyway, I'm going to get off of here now because they're going to close. So I'm sure John's going to be done in a minute. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe he'll come in here. Because um, I know y'all wouldn't want to say hi to him. 1 p.m. is normally 6 p.m. UK. Okay. Um... So I would want to do like three, four, like this time, four, four something. This time would be good for you guys, I think. Uh, bye. Bye, Jason. I think this time would be good for you guys and then some of my earlier crew and then having a few later for more of the American and Canadian and this side of the world uh, folks. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off here, you guys, and I'm glad you came on. I'm glad I got to talk to you guys and see you, and thanks so much. Thanks so much for, um, tuning in, and yeah, there's gonna be lots of live stream coming. That's awesome, Lori. That's awesome. Okay, an hour ahead of UK, all right. I'll keep that in mind, you guys, and I will definitely do some so that you guys can catch on, too, okay? Um, I appreciate you and love you guys, and hey, always remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.